What up? I'm Devin on deck, and today I'm teaching you the fast and simple way to make animated GIFs or stop motion videos. Um, Welcome back to Devin on Tech, where I give you how-tos, reviews, and creative talk. In today's video, we're talking about how to make really dope looking GIFs or stop motion animations, whatever you wanna call them. But first, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I've made a name for myself on Instagram for making imaginative and playful content that at the same time is very curated and stylish. So I dedicate a part of my YouTube to just giving y'all game on the content side of things, teaching you how to edit, how to shoot, and how to just tell stories better and be more effective in the digital space. So if that sounds good to you, you are in the right place. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that little bell icon so you get a notification every time I post a video. So what inspired this technique is the Boomerang app, which many of you know is made by Instagram. This is before they even put it in Instagram stories, maybe even like a year ago. And I just felt like six seconds just wasn't enough for me to do the kind of animation I wanted to. So I was like, hmm, how do I make my own Boomerang? How do I make something like go forward and reverse? And after playing around on Photoshop for a little bit and trying a few techniques, I came up with this. Not too bad, right? Now it's simple, very simple, but it gives a good effect. I like it, I think it's a really simple way to do it and I literally did it in like five minutes. So I thought it'd be something really easy to share with y'all, something that you probably haven't seen from me if you're a newer follower, because literally I think the last time I posted one of those was, man, at least six months ago. Well, either way, in my opinion, it looks really good. It looks like it's actually complicated, even though it's not. So you look like a professional, even though you did it in like five, 10 minutes. I kid you not, it's that simple. Now keep in mind, this is a continuation, a building block from part one, which is how to make cinemagraphs, okay? If you missed that video, I will tag it up here for you. Tap that video, start there first, because you're gonna learn how to set up your shot, how to export it better. I'm not doing that in this video. I'm just teaching you this one. We're gonna make it quick and easy. If you wanna know all the other technical stuff that goes into it, click the link down low in the description or tap the thing up here, cool? Cool. So here's what you need. A computer with Photoshop on it, a tripod or mount, and a camera or phone that can shoot in continuous or burst mode. So the first thing you wanna do is set up your shot on the tripod or mount. It cannot be moving at all. However, your subject, it can be a person, your pet, whatever, needs to be moving. And what you wanna do is activate either the continuous or burst mode. I believe on an iPhone, all you have to do is hold down the shutter button, the picture taking button. It'll just take hella photos for you. And the same thing for a point and shoot, Nikon, Canon, whatever the case may be. If it's been made in like the last 10 years, it probably has continuous or burst on it. So use that and it should take you all about 30 seconds at the most to get that movement down and take those photos. I decided to throw my jacket in this one, as you can see, but obviously you can choose to do whatever you like. Sky's the limit. And that's it, shooting part's over. So now let's go over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how I put it together in literally five minutes. Come on. Okay, so once you've selected all your images, the ones that you feel like look best, obviously from my jacket throw, only one to go this far, and I'm gonna take myself back, right? You wanna take these, and then drag them and drop them into Photoshop. Boom! It's gonna open up every single image. Boom, 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 boom. All 17. You can make this easier on yourself if you do less images, okay? But I wanted to get the full motion of this, so I got 17 frames I gotta create. If the timeline isn't down here, you wanna go up here to Window and Timeline, okay? I'm taking it away, bring it back click timeline, this will come up, okay? You do not want to create video timeline. Hit the little arrow next to it, and you want to create frame animation. Bam, click this button, and you will have one frame right there. So the next, what you need to do, literally take every image in order and paste it into the document, okay? So this is image number 17, as you can see. I'm gonna grab 16, copy it, Command A, Command C, close that one, and then paste it right on top of that. So now you have the frame before and the frame after. I'm gonna just keep doing that, okay? Again, go on to 15, copy, paste it here on 17, bam. Now again, it's not gonna change over here, remember? It's only gonna change right here in these layers, all right? So don't worry about creating more frames here yet. That's the next step. But let me go ahead and fast forward this part so you don't have to just watch me make a whole bunch of these. Next, what you wanna do, over here next to the trash can, you got this little button for duplicate selected frames, okay? So you're gonna make a new frame, 
by hitting that button, bam, right? So now you have two frames. So this is how it goes. For each frame, it's gonna show you exactly whatever layers you have visible at the moment. So what you wanna do is toggle what frames will be visible in the next frame, all right? You get what I'm saying? So here we go, we got frame one, back turned, frame two, now I'm gonna take away this top one to get to the next step, all right? I'm gonna copy the frame again, duplicate it, and on this one, I'm gonna take away 15. You see what I'm saying? Over here, duplicate it again, take away 14, and so on. So I'm gonna fast forward this part for you too, because it's very repetitive. So now in our timeline, we have frames that match our layers. Before you move on, you wanna test it to make sure everything is working, all right? So right here, with the looping options, click once and make it forever, all right? Then what you're gonna do is press play and see if it works. Here we go, one, two, three, bam. Boom, okay, it's working. Now you notice it doesn't look exactly like mine looked in the final version you saw earlier because we're not to that part yet, cool. So, a couple options here, okay? What you can do is change the duration in which a frame shows, all right? So you're looking at frame 17. This is where I want the jacket to pause. Then I'm going to make it a little slower here. So right now it's at zero seconds. Let's make it half a second and see how that feels to us. Here we go, playing it, pause, play it, pause, got it. I like that, okay, so half a second feels good to me. Now. Here comes the part where you reverse it. So what I wanna do is take all the frames before this one and literally copy them to the right side of that in reverse. <laughs> it looks complicated, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do literally is take 16, hold down the shift key, go over to one, click that, and now all these are selected, okay? I'm gonna go to the menu over here in the timeline, copy frames, then you want to select the frame that's in the middle, this one first, okay? Go back to the menu, press paste frames, and it's gonna ask you what you wanna do. So this is the one that's selected. So when it says selection, that's what it's talking about, okay? So you want to paste after selection. Now all these frames here are pasted, but remember, they're not in reverse order yet. They're in the same order. So when I play it, it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look like it threw the jacket out and then it's just starting over again. So I'm gonna go back here, right? Remember, it's only 17 frames. I'm gonna select all the ones to the right, all the way over. Remember, hold down shift again. Bam, go back to the menu and you can literally reverse frame. So now it's gonna flip the order. Bam. So now what you're gonna see from the beginning to the end is me throwing my jacket, it's gonna pause and then reverse. Here we go. There it is. Bam. And now it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. That literally took me five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Maybe seven because I have to talk to you about it, but that's it. Simple. So once it's looking good to you and you're happy with it, go ahead and go to File, Export, and render video. This is the same screen I showed you in part one. Follow those directions and export it from here and you are good to go for Instagram video. Boom, so there you have it. Now you know exactly how I make my frame animations. So now you are empowered to make your own GIFs and stop motion videos. Now remember, if you need to know the best way to export, crop, and format for Instagram video, that's going to be in part one, okay? If you didn't click it at the beginning, again, it's going to be in the description, and I'm gonna put it at the end of this video as well. Watch that for all the technical specs, how to optimize it best for mobile view. Now, team on deck, you already know what time it is. I need you to try this yourself, be as creative as possible, and send it to me. I don't care if it's DM, via Twitter, email, bird message, I don't care, just get it to me so I can shout you out, I can show you love, show it to the world, and we can continue to support each other as a creative community. If you have any feedback whatsoever, make sure you leave it in the comments, and give your man a thumbs up if you learned anything, if you enjoyed this video at all, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I appreciate your time as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey.